like this. So today I'm introducing you to one of our January unit studies and it's been inspired by our registry dog Lapper. And Lapper is a five year old Samoyed and she um, came over to us from Bulgaria through the um, Santa Claus Rescue Society um, and she's an amazing dog, great with the kids. Now Samoyeds are northern breeds and they were bred and raised by the Sami people traditionally. So we've dedicated this unit study to the northern part of Europe and um, we're going to be covering the Sami people, we're going to be covering dog care, we've got lots of activities, foods we're going to introduce. So I'm just going to run through some of the resources that we're planning on using. So I focus on Nimue's first and Nimue is four years old and we don't like to push him too much. She tends to join in on the more fun learning aspects, although we do try and keep it all injected with a bit of fun. So this is a twinkle resource and I've just quickly downloaded a winter number matching sheet for Nimue. And we can either cut them out and stick and paste the right ones next to each other or on the backs of each other or she can draw lines to them and we're going to let her decide on that one. We've also printed off some play-doh sheets as you can see and on this one she's going to use a play-doh to make some leaves on the evergreen trees. On this one she's got to make snowflakes. This one a hat for the snowman and you get the drift. She loves these, normally I'd laminate them but um, our laminator is inaccessible and unusable at this moment in time. So we're just going to give it a sheet and then have a play. Unfortunately they won't last as long because they will stain. But you'll see the process shortly and how much she gets from this type of activity. And then I have some nature trails and we have sensory ones. We have nature trail bingo. And these are all winter themed as well. And they can drink for two. I will put all the resources in the um, description below for you all. To start off, I'm probably going to do a winter holiday recount writing. And this one here is for Nim. I'm going to let her draw pictures. So it's I saw, I played, I visited, I ate, and my favourite memory is. And she can either draw them pictures or she can stick them in photo wise as a bit of a storyboard. Anthony's one encourages it to all be writing because of his age. And Anthony, due to his ASD, struggles with writing and he doesn't enjoy it very much. So I like to find fun ways to try and incorporate it into each of the units we do. So on this one, he also has I saw, I played, I visited, I ate. And my favourite memory is. Only obviously as you can see it's got the line for him to write that on. Just move them out the way. I also have lots and lots of resources for art, crafts and science experiments which we're going to be doing. So for physics we have a bit of a sleigh building challenge. And that's going to introduce physics and also incorporate arts and crafts into the one activity. And then we'll see whose design is more sturdy, shall we say. And we'll do that in teams because obviously Nim Jung is going to need help. Um, this is a snowstorm in a jar, which is a simple activity you can find online anywhere. And I'm putting them in the description below. Produce a pine cone feeder. You saw us in a previous vlog do a pine cone feeder and put them out and about and they enjoyed that very much so they want to do that activity again as well and as it's still winter why not the birds need all the help they can get and so do our squirrels. We've got, we're going to be covering arctic animals and I do have a few powerpoints for that too. Um, I find Pez is a great resource for this as well as Twinkle for the younger ones. And um, we've got an Arctic animal science experiment and this includes blubber and we're going to be using different insulated materials such as um, lard and everything to 
represent the blubber and letting the children feel that out for themselves and how blubber protects against the cold. So for that experiment you will need ice cubes. However again all the links to the resources will be online and you'll be able to access them. And we're going to be playing around with hot water and ice and seeing which ones freeze faster. Making our own igloo. The children would like to go making an igloo. I haven't worked out how we're going to do that one yet, whether we're going to use ice cubes or whether we're going to use marshmallows. It's going to be, we're just going to go with the flow on that one and see what resources we can get for all of the um, unit study due to lockdown. Um, normally resources like that wouldn't be an issue, but you know what lockdown's like. Another physics example we've got is a snowball launcher and we're going to make our own snowball launchers but obviously we need it to be snow for that one. We've got some water chemistry and we're going to be doing some frosty science using milk and food dyes and seeing different effects there. You may well absolutely love that one. Uh, a snow volcano, again another one that requires it to snow again. So again that one being governed by the laws of nature. We shall see. Uh, snow candy, again, that's the same thing. We need snow for that one. And snow ice cream, we need snow for that one. And then another awesome craft we've got, which I think Nimway is absolutely going to love, is salt painting. And this is a fun activity, and we actually have templates for our snowflakes. So you can draw your own, and it doesn't have to be just snowflakes that they do. To incorporate the dogs, because of the breed, we have um, taking care of dog worksheets and PowerPoint, and we also downloaded these My Dog Checklist of Twinkle, and they both have a set each, and they get to tick off when the dogs have been fed, when they've been watered, when they've been walked, if poo's been picked up, if they've been groomed, if they've been fat. And now the fat one's not really relevant to ours because ours are a breed that only require minimal washing due to this health clean and double coat. Um, however, they are due a bath this week, so we'll be letting the children join in on that fun and games. Um, yeah, looking forward to that one. So they'll be able to tick that one off then. I'm going to give each of the children a dog each which they're primarily responsible for looking after. Um, with parental supervision, of course. One will be primarily solely responsible for Nala. And I didn't mention before, but Nala is our six month old rescue. She's actually, well, she's actually seven months on Sunday, which is about four days away now. Um, and we've had her since the middle of November. So she's only been with us a few months now, and she is also a rehomed dog. Uh, and she's an Akita, and she's absolutely beautiful. She's a Japanese Akita, or white, and you'll be getting introduced to her properly. Yeah, I mean, you've seen them in previous fun vlogs that we've done recently over the Christmas real time period. But yeah, the children will be introducing me to our dog properly shortly. So I also have worksheets on Northern Europe, the different flags, uh, the different countries that are included in Nor Northern Europe, Sweden, Iceland, Denmark, Norway, Finland, and we're going to do find out some facts about each of those, the climate, the animals that live there, because my children are animal mad. Um, yeah, we've got quite a bit to do here. Temperatures, we're going to compare temperatures there to here. We're going to cover the history of migration as well, and also the, the, the tribes that originally come from there. And these resources here are all about the Sami people. Because obviously that's where Sammy eggs were bred. And we've got some traditional recipes here that I'm going to get the children to cook. We've got our fact sheets about these famous reindeer herders. And the Sammy people are actually a, a tribe that I have admired for a long time. Especially for the herbal medicine. So we do actually have information on their medicines of the land. What they use, their, their indigenous medicine. So we do have a worksheet on the medicines that the Sami people adopt throughout their culture, traditionally and historically. And I'll be incorporating the children's little bits of 
information about that too because I am herbal medicine not that I actually love it I swear by it um, obviously western medicine has its place in the world but I absolutely admire tribal medicine uh, from a historical point of view really um, and I just think it'll be fun to incorporate some bits like that but I will be personalising it for the children so to introduce them to it gently we're going to start off with the dog sheet the holiday writing frame and the play down. So we've got quite a bit here to begin on with and then we'll probably do some crafts after that too. So thank you for joining us for our latest unit study. I am going to go get the children.